Hi, Stacy. Hey, Tim. In Their Neighborhood is a show where we bring in people to elaborate on what exactly it is that they do in the community so that we can recruit more volunteers for them, educate about the nonprofits that we have, and really we want to connect volunteers with their volunteering vision. We have amazing, amazing organizations in Peoria that rock and make Peoria rock. That's right. Peoria is an awesome place, and if we just take the time to give back, then it's going to be that much better. Our goal is to help people that kind of want to volunteer, but maybe are a little afraid of volunteering, and give them the opportunity to volunteer in an easy way and get to know the organizations before they even get involved. Being a volunteer hero. There you go. We're, we're looking for volunteer heroes. Hey Peoria area, um, we are talking here with some friends of mine from the Peoria Regional Learning Center. Welcome ladies. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. So we're going to talk about another amazing thing about Peoria and um, brought some girls that have experience hands on and so thought it would be fun for you guys to listen to. Uh, we are live on Facebook right now. You can also find us on YouTube and Peoria TV. So like us, share us and check it out. So with that, who do I have here with me today? Uh, I'm Devin from Pure Regional. I'm Jenna Fall, also a student. Wonderful. And what grade are you guys in? I'm a junior. A senior. Okay. Yeah. And so how long have you been attending Pure Regional? Just the first year. Yeah, I just started last August, and it's life-changing. Yes. Life-changing. Oh, yeah, yes. definitely. I was very scared and nervous, but I knew um, I wasn't going to be happy at my old school. And, yeah, like it was, I mean, you know, anything anything that's new or a change is going to be a little bit scary. But uh, I felt right at home, very welcomed. Like, I'm very life-changing, <laughs> definitely. Okay. So where is Peoria Regional located? At Wildlife Prairie Park. Yeah. Wow. Yes. It's just a little bit out of Peoria, right? Uh, Taylor Road. They mm -hmm. can consider it Hannah City sometimes, but I've also like had it be considered in Peoria. So yeah. I don't I don't know. But yeah, Wildlife Prairie Park, I'm sure most people have heard of it. And uh, most people are so like shocked that there's a school there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which um but no, yeah, it's located in the park and it's it's really amazing. <laughs> in the park. Yeah. So some yeah. people might not have heard of Wildlife Prairie Park. Yeah. So what's out there? Okay, well, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure in the name Wildlife Prairie Park, there's a lot of trails, there's a lot of animals. I'm not going to say it's like a zoo, but um, every animal that is in the park has been, like, rescued or is there because they need, like, special attention or they're hurt in some way, you know, like, like that they need care. So it's not like we just take animals and put them in cages or something you know what yeah. I mean so it's all for good reasoning and we have like a million different paths um in the woods that uh connect to the animals and stuff so see, that's what I think is awesome yeah. about our school too because like all the animals are there for a reason and we're all there for a reason too yeah it's like Huh. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, we go on walks every day and that's kind of like one of the biggest things at our school and I think that alone is so beneficial to a person like mm -hmm. just walking out in nature every day uh, definitely has helped me in a lot of ways like I know that might sound silly but really like getting that extra walk that extra bit of nature you know. Mm -hmm get yourself some vitamin D, <laughs> right? Like it, it's fun. It's great. I love it. You know, that's right. And so, I wouldn't get that somewhere else. So no gym, right? No gym. So you have God's yeah. beauty surrounding oh, you yes. <laughs> and amazing walks that I'm sure just breathe life into you guys. Uh, sometimes take the life out of me. Yeah, <laughs> Walking but, uphill. You mean like Woo. in the winter? <laughs> yes. 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 Those but it's still sure. like, I would still take that any day over like a gym, you know? Sure. So, so how do you get out to the Wildlife Prairie Park? Um, a lot of us either carpool and we also have a city bus. Okay. But so most of us drive. Yeah. yeah. We're all like of age. Yeah, it is a high school, so it's not mm -hmm. anything below that. So yeah, most of us just carpool our drive. Wonderful. So what does a typical day look like for you guys out at Peoria Regional? Well, we have a normal school day. We have our teachers. Of course, we don't have 20, 30 in a building. We have how many? About six or seven. 
in your class? About, yeah, like it, so small teachers classes? in general when we go to our classes. Maybe about, like, it honestly ranges. Some classes, there's only, like, 10 people. Mm -hmm. Other classes, there's around 20, you know? Sure. Um, we only have, like, five or six teachers. So. Yes. Yeah. When does your day start? 8.30 in the yeah. morning. I mean, we just have a regular school day. You know, we have our seven classes um, for an hour or so. And, you know, we don't have a lot of teachers, but they all try and they give us their best. And that's enough mm -hmm. for us, you know what I mean? Like, and I prefer having the small classes because then, you know, you don't really have time to goof off or because, you know, there's so little of you. Obviously, you're going to get called out for not doing your work but honestly like being at that school it's not hard because you're kind of wanting to do it anyway because they make it fun for you so mm -hmm. so what classes are so I know you guys are out now right so <laughs> yeah. you're you're when you were still in school just recently how many what classes were you taking for those of pe people who aren't in high school right now and don't <laughs> know like what that entails these right. days it's so different with technology changes well, and everything like that. We have history, language arts, math, science, normal yeah. get-go. And then we also have Mr. Ward's class, which is our computer class, which okay. we have online classes for kids that are behind on their credits or have came to school late so okay. they can catch up on those credits before they graduate. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So you guys have computers then too? Yes. 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 Every um, one of our classes has their own set of laptops, and then we have like our computer room, and that has all of our desktops and laptops. So Very nice. Mm. Do you guys like being on computers? Mm. Mm, I honestly would rather be in a class than yeah. Yeah. a computer, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because the online classes are very, I don't know, I don't like looking at a screen all day, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I would rather be like face-to-face -face with someone and talking than being on a screen. It's only a one hour class, yeah, one yeah, class but <laughs> per day. It's actually refreshing to hear because mm -hmm. with technology being such in your guys' era, I, I didn't have that when I was younger. <laughs> right. So we had a computer class and that was it. There was no other classes on a computer. So, okay. And I know now with work, you stare at a screen all day and that's the last thing I right. want to do when I get home. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to hear you guys say that. You kind of appreciate that face-to-face. Yeah, at my home school, I did have a computer class that was just about the computer on the computer. And, like, it is definitely very different from that. You can mm -hmm. take, like, uh, history, English classes on there. It's just anything extra that if you want to choose to take it to get your credits up, you can. You know, it, it's just an opportunity mm -hmm. that we have. Oh, it was really awesome for me because I missed half my freshman year just because my home school is not working out for me anymore. So I could catch up my credits and I'm still going to be graduating on time. Wow. So, yeah. Do you guys want to share where you were before Peoria Regional? Um, I was at Limestone Community High School. Okay. Public school just isn't for everybody. You know what I mean? It, everybody's different. You know, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, anybody's perfectly capable of going there. It's just not for me. Sure. Any certain thing, like classmates sometimes make it hard. Sometimes it's teachers. Sometimes it's the school in yes, general. Yes, but that's everywhere in life. That's every public school, you know what I mean? That's I don't think it's just public schools. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's everywhere in life. That's just that's I life. did not go to a public school, and I will be honest, I did not like high school. No. It's hard. I hear that a lot. <laughs> yeah. I always hear people, I would never go back. Like, I either hear it's going to be the best years of your life, or like, I'm so happy I'm done with that, you know? Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I think it, it's kind of always one or the other, but I went to Farmington, and I know I, I love the teachers there. They were always very kind to me, but it just wasn't my show. I don't know. I had a lot of anxiety whenever I went there, and I just didn't like how I felt being there. But like I said, like coming to Peoria Regional, I just feel welcomed and at home, mm -hmm. and you know... Not saying I don't get along with anyone, but, like, even if I didn't, it, it wouldn't be a problem. Everyone's very mature there. You know, there's no um, – there's not fighting, like, ever, really. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone pretty much gets along, and it's just personally, like, a better experience and environment for myself. Okay. So how do you feel learning has changed from you from your past to this past year with Peoria Regional? Well, I actually enjoy I sit there and enjoy it because the teachers there, they're so engaged in us. Like, they want us to be, have fun learning. They want us to learn. They want us to be us, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they, they're so supportive of, of us and our, our work and stuff. So I think that makes it just easier on us in general, sure. having somebody there to support you. Okay. And so how was your attendance now versus your previous school? Pretty good. I mean, I, I, 
I was never one to really skip school. I would always be there, but, like, I definitely don't drag in the morning going to school. You know what I mean? I don't, like, uh, dread it. You get up and you want yes. to go to school. Um, I think that my education has definitely grown. And, like, um, I was kind of scared because when I first went to this school, it wasn't anything like a regular, like my, what I had experienced. And so, um, I really like didn't know what I was getting myself into, but like I was saying, you know, with the smaller classes, um, teachers can really like help you if you need something. Like I was really bad at math and I just, you know, passed with A's. Like I never would have thought I would have done that. But, you know, when you have that one-on-one -on -one help and it's not even like one-on-one, -on -one, but when the classes are smaller, like she'll wait for everyone to understand what we're doing to move on, you know? Wow. Mm -hmm. And like, um, like in history or science, you know, instead of reading straight out of the book for an hour, we'll have books and just talk, you know, talk about how we feel about what's going on. And I really enjoy that. Um, not like, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, we learn everything. I don't know. It's just they make it a lot more enjoyable mm -hmm. not going straight out of the book and like actually discussing and not you know, taking time and not doing that every single day to, you know, like maybe every other day. Um, and then like my attendance <laughs> at Farmington, I missed a lot of school. I didn't even realize I missed that much school until I came to Pure Original and Mr. Bixby called me out. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't realize I missed that many days. But like she was saying, you know, like this school, excuse me. I'm oh man it's so much easier to get up in the mornings and mm -hmm. I actually to want to go to your day. yeah like I don't think I've missed even a week the whole year you know like and I don't know like at my home school I would dread waking up every morning to go to school and now it's um enjoyable you know mm -hmm. and I never thought that I could say that about school <laughs> sure. so that's amazing in itself so how did each of you come to know about this school? My older brother actually went before me, and I was just going through a hard time at my old school, and he suggested it to me, and I, I'm here now. Yeah. I love it, yeah. Yeah. How about you? Pretty much same. Um, my older sister graduated a while ago from Peoria Regional. I think she was there, like, the second year. They even, like, were a school, so... Um, there was definitely a big time difference between me and her going, but uh, I had a lot of friends that went there as well, and which they kind of all graduated right when I came, but I was having the same situation at my old school. Like, a lot of my friends had just graduated, and I just, you know, had a lot of anxiety. I didn't know what I was going to do, so, you know... I had heard about wildlife and I'd been wanting to go for a while, but like I said, you know, the change is kind of scary and I just, I didn't know what I wanted yet and um, very, very happy. Like probably one of the best things I've ever, one of the best choices I've made, like for sure. So it's a choice that you made. Oh yeah. I, um, my teachers were like, oh, you can do better when I was so offended by that, like, I want to go to this school, and, and you're going to say that to me, and honestly, like, I'm, I'm very happy that I came, because, um, you know, I've noticed growth in myself, in my grades, in the person I am, and clearly I wasn't getting that, <laughs> you know, at my other school, but don't get me wrong, it's a great school, like, yeah. but and it, makes just, me yeah, sad it just, it just wasn't for me, you know, and, and I called Mr. Bixby, and I asked him if there was any, um, openings you know and he told me there was so I came for an interview and it's history from there <laughs> so you pursued it yes very interesting so did you pursue it that, too yes and then said that people have that bias with the school like that because it's honestly an amazing school like that actually helps people and like it's not I, I think it just gets that rap because of where it's located yeah and it's not a public school like, but so yeah it, it's amazing like it, it's everything and more sure so so if you came across another youth, mm -hmm. maybe in your same scenario of how you felt, you know, what would you tell them in regards to giving them hope? You know, because teenage years, as you guys know, are tough years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I pretty much would just tell them anything that I've just told you today. You know, I've actually had a lot of people ask me about it. And, oh, I never even knew there was a school there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that all the time, you know. And I always tell people, like, if you're, if, who are still in school, you know, like, if you are struggling, like, I would 
strongly suggest looking into wildlife because I think anyone would really enjoy it. And, um, I mean, yeah, that this, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think anyone would really enjoy it. So, but not everyone can go. Well, no, yeah, I mean, you have <laughs> interviews, you have to get accepted in, you know, it, it's yeah. not a public school. Mm -hmm. So we do um, look for people who are serious about it. I mean, like I said, I know I didn't have the best grades, but I definitely came in there and told them what I wanted to see in myself and what I would like to see, you know, in the school. And mm -hmm. I had almost straight A's, you know, and I never thought like I would have done, like I really, I hadn't been on honor roll for a long, long time. And I was like, uh, just so behind I never would have thought that he would have catched like me up this much and like I'm so blessed for that because like if I would have still been going to my other school I would have just and and plus you know I work and stuff and I didn't have to change my work schedule at all and still maintaining pretty good grades so I was very thankful for that that's good <laughs> so you work and go to school yeah that's busy Monday through Friday. Same here. <laughs> yeah yeah where do you guys work I um Spraying for bugs, okay. like just mosquitoes and stuff, <laughs> yeah. And then I, I'm actually working on getting a job at a doggy daycare right now for Fun. so two jobs. Yeah. yeah. And I'm working on going to Balder right now to get my license. So wow. everything's a little crazy this summer. So you've got some drive and some things that you want to do. Uh -huh. I'm excited. And see, like, this is the only thing about our school that it doesn't provide is driving classes. But, I mean, that's one thing that's worth it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. There's always pros and cons yeah. to everything, but uh -huh. it's so worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. Fun. So what else would you like people to know about Peoria Regional Center as we have just a couple minutes left? Um, I mean, like, we're just, we're in high school. Like, we have prom and everything still. That was one of my biggest yeah. fears, too, like, going in there. I was like, do they have prom? And, like, <laughs> <laughs> just because, like, a normal teenager stuff that you want to do before you graduate. But, like, we have all that. We have cookouts. I mean, well, it's, yeah, all that. I mean, yeah. cookouts, you don't really have it in another school. So that's, you know, pretty mm -hmm. awesome. And uh, I know I was talking about the walks. We do that every day. But, uh, you know, we don't really have sports. Mm -mm. But I feel like going like, outside and being able to walk through the woods and ha having new paths, it, it's amazing. Like, I've been doing it for a year, and I probably – couldn't tell you like half the paths that we mm -mm. walked on, you know, and and it amazes me that these teachers know exactly where we're going. When I'm like, we're in the middle of the woods, lost. I don't know where we're at. Where's the school? You know what I mean? So that's um, you know, that's pretty amazing. I think that's definitely something I would tell someone who didn't know anything. Sure, walks are probably the best. But mm -hmm. and I don't even like to exercise. You know, no. I don't think a lot of people do. But uh, definitely, even in the winter, I love doing it. Mm -hmm. It's very you fun. You just gotta bundle up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we even we even went sledding one wow. time during the winter. Yes, yeah. they got and some good sledding hills out there. Yeah, pretty a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I think you're gonna have fun either way. Yeah. You know, especially with all the positivity there and we had multiple sleds. So <laughs> yeah. That's no one got like hurt. Fun. That's good. So it's a change of the scenery. And I, don't you guys have like Buffalo right outside of your yeah. window? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it's have, a whole field of buffaloes, what other bisons yeah, and elk right there. Yeah. Like that we see every day, just like yeah. walking mm -hmm. to school. And yeah, that's another, um, probably one of the best things is, you know, getting to see all the wildlife, like animals. There's wolves, you know, that we see almost every day, wow. white yeah. wolves, like, whoa. Otters. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, um, yeah, there's there's a lot. We have birds, too, which mm -hmm. isn't my favorite, but they are very beautiful. <laughs> and not like in our science class, we are, like, learning about, you know, different kinds of birds and stuff. And, and it's nice to just be able to, like, go outside and, like, be able to name the different kinds of birds, like, you know, I know that's probably not something everyone can do, but, you know, it, it's kind of cool. Like, I know I wouldn't be able to just walk outside of a different, like, a public school and see that. Different kind of animals, huh? Yeah. So. <laughs> awesome. It's been so much fun getting to hear <laughs> from you guys. You. Do you guys know the website for your school? Um, pureoriginal.com. Okay. Yes, find it. And what's out there on that website? There um, there's the video, but it really needs updated. It's pretty old. <laughs> well, but 
<laughs> yeah, it just kind of shows a little bit around our school. Like, uh, it's just a, I mean, it's just a typical school's website, mm -hmm. but it shows, you know, like the wildlife, what we do. You know, there's little clips and videos of uh, the students there, and she says it's outdated because I think my sister yeah. was in one of the videos. <laughs> so, so yeah, it is a little bit old, but um, it, it's not. It still gives the message, you know, and mm -hmm. it's still what we do. So, you know, I think you could find anything that you needed to find there. Wonderful. Thank you so much, you guys, for listening. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here, taking some time out of your summer to share. Um, so, you know, like us, share us, and um, just check out Peoria Regional and go out to Wildlife Prairie Park this summer. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. PeoriaLife.com.